Hi everyone, in series 2 of Immunology MCQs, we are going to discuss from 21st to 40th question. 21st, which one of the following convey the long-lasting immunity to an infectious agent? The options are A. Naturally acquired passive immunity, artificially acquired passive immunity, naturally acquired active immunity, D. All of the above. Generally, the immunity is going to be classified into two types that is innate immunity and acquired immunity. And again, this acquired immunity is classified into passive as well as the active. So, if you are going to have a naturally exposure to the infectious agents, then you are going to get uh, that is acquiring the immunity which is going to be called as active because your body itself is going to be participating and acquiring the immunity. So, obviously, the answer will be naturally acquired active immunity. 22nd, secondary lymphoid organ include options are A, bone marrow, B, spleen, C, thymus, D, all of the above. The answer will be spleen because the rest of the bone marrow and the thymus are going to be the primary lymphoid organs. 23rd, monocytes move from systemic circulatory system into general connective tissues where they differentiate into what phagocytic cell type. The options are A macrophage, B T cell, C B cell, D neutral cell. The answer will be obviously macrophage because the monocytes when they enter into tissues and organs they are going to be called as macrophages. 24. Prozone phenomena is due to options are A antibody excess, B antigen excess, C false positive reaction, D zone of equivalence. Prozone means obviously antibody excess. 25. Hapten is the same as epitope, small molecular weight protein, requires carrier for specific antibody production, simple haptens or precipitating. The answer will be requires carrier for specific antibody production. 26. Immunoglobulin E is secreted by options are A. Mastocell, B. Basophils, C. Isnophils, D. Plasma cell. Obviously, any immunoglobulin or antibodies are going to be secreted by the plasma cells. So, option D is the right answer. 27. The part of the antigen to which the paratope binds is called an. The part of the antigen to which the paratope binds is called an. The options are A. Idiotype, B. Epitope, C. Hapten, D. Paratope. So, the answer will be epitope. So, paratope is a part of the antibody. So, here they are asking about the part of the antigen to which the paratope binds is called as. If the question is reversed, the answer will be the paratope. 28. Which test is used for detecting susceptibility of an individual to diphtheria toxin? Options are A. Schick test, B. Dick test, C. BP test, D. Presbyterian test. Obviously, the name of the test is Schick test. 29. Antibodies in our body are produced by options are B lymphocytes, B T lymphocyte, C monocytes, D RBC cells. So, I already told you antibodies are going to be from the plasma cells and those plasma cells are getting derived from the B lymphocytes. The answer is B lymphocytes. 30th. Immunoglobulins which cannot activate complement, that is complement system or complements. Options are A, IgM, B, IgE, C, IgA, D, IgG. So, obviously the answer will be immunoglobulin E cannot activate the complement. 31st, monoclonal antibodies are produced by, monoclonal antibodies are produced by. Options are A, habidoma technology, B, biotechnology. C. Fermentation technology. D. None of the above. The answer will be hybridoma technology where the two kinds of the cells that is B cells as well as the myeloma cells are put together and the resulting of the hybridoma cell is going to be having the 
uh, nature of producing the monoclonal antibody and that technique is going to be called as hybridoma technology. 32. What is the strength of the bond between antigen and antibody? Options are affinity, avidity, covalent, D none. So obviously the answer is avidity. The strength of the bond between the antigen and antibody is called avidity. 33. Which of the following can provide naturally acquired passive immunity for the newborn baby? Options are A IgA, B IgG, C IgE, D IgM. The answer is IgG. For the newborn they are asking. So infant means then it can be of IgA also because the mother is going to give the IgA antibodies through her feeding okay so but here they're just asking the newborn so the option will be igg immunoglobulin g 34 syndromes associated with human t lymphotropic virus type 1 are that is hdlv1 are a adult t cell lymphoma b hairy cell lymphoma or leukemia c adult t cell leukemia d all of these the answer will be hairy cell leukemia 35. In ELISA technique, the antibodies are labeled by options are A. Acridine orange, B. Alkaline phosphatase, C. Neutral red, D. Bromothymol blue. The answer is alkaline phosphatase is the enzyme which is going to be used in ELISA technique to label the antibodies. 36. Agglutination reaction is strongest with the immunoglobulin. Options are a IgM, IgG, IgA, IgD. The option will be IgM because it is going to have the more valency. So obviously the agglutination reaction will be the strongest with IgM. 37. Which one of the following is a function of gamma globulins? The options are A provides humoral immunity, B transport glucose, C regulates body temperature. D performs as fibrinogen for blood coagulation. So here you can directly tell the gamma globulins are involved in providing humoral immunity. That is antibody mediated immunity. 38. Who invented Bombay blood group? Who invented Bombay blood group? It's a very rare blood group. So obviously options are K. L. Landsteiner, B. Y. M. Coombs, C. R. R. Bhendi, D. Robert Koch. The answer is R. R. Bhendi is the one who invented this Bombay blood group. 39. What is the technique for quantitative estimation of hemoglobin? What is the technique for quantitative estimation of immunoglobulin? Sorry. Options are A. Single diffusion in one dif dimension. Single diffusion in two dimension, double diffusion in one dimension, double diffusion in two dimensions. So the answer will be single diffusion in two dimensions. So the quantitative estimation of the immunoglobulin can be done by single diffusion in two dimensions. So this comes under the types of uh, antigen antibody reactions of precipitation. So you can go through it. 40. A reactive fluorescent triponemal antibody, simply FTA, AB test. Options are indicates the severity of infection, indicates no infection, is positive during chronic stage, D confirms the presence of triponema antibody. So obviously here it comes under the triponemal antibody. So you can tell that it confirms the presence of triponemal antibody. So this is all about the series 2. In the series 3, we will go with the 41 to 80th question. Thank you.